and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for the Jundis League. That's right, we're having a little play on words here, uh, kind of reference to the Justice League. And uh, we're a Jund deck, and we're playing a whole bunch of Planeswalkers, and so we're calling this the Jundist League. It is kind of more like the Legion of Doom, as somebody said here in chat, like the Lee Jund of Doom, I suppose. But, oh well, we have our, our Jundist League. It's a pretty cool little name. So basically what we got here is we're going to try to just play a bunch of fun Planeswalkers and see how it how it goes. Maybe we'll win some some matches maybe we won't who knows we'll we'll see we'll see how they work all together we don't have a lot of green in the deck as you can tell we're mostly a red black uh deck green is gonna really be for acceleration to get us out ahead early um so we can get to these planeswalkers a little bit ahead of schedule because they're they'll be a little slow if we don't um so that's what our green is for here um plus we got we got a gruel spellbreaker which is a nice solid creature it can pressure planeswalkers for us also here and so you know girl spellbreaker is just a pretty good card to have having spellbreaker makes our domery minus two actually kind of do something um so we have that uh but yeah so like like flame sweep i don't see i don't really want to play like the like so the the other thing about playing the mana creatures is i don't really want to have like flame sweep and cry the Carnarium and stuff like that to just kill my mana creatures that i just played hey what's up roughness thank you so much for that sub there we got a bunch of Legion's Ends. Hopefully that can help uh, stem the tide against decks like Vampires. Um, Karns are in here basically for the, the card advantage, the, that plus one ability to help us hit our land drops to be able to get to our six mana. You know, like We do need to hit land drops, and so that's what Karn does. Karn does a really good job of helping you hit land drops because whenever you tick up, they like basically always give you a land, and so you take your land. And so we can get to our lands for these things. We're playing 26. We're playing like the regular 24 duels, uh, two color duels, plus a couple extra forest for these things early. Um, yeah, and that's our deck. These six mana planeswalkers are all really powerful. Liliana, Chandra, Ugin, these are all really powerful planeswalkers. So feel pretty good about those helping us win games. Like they're, they're going to be a big part of it here. No, I'm not going with any of the Planeswalker land because, like, early on, like, we need we need different colors for all these things. And the Planeswalker land doesn't cast our mana creatures. It doesn't cast Bedevil and, like, and all these things in here. I'm not sure if, if like, Cast Down or Lava Coal is better. I'm kind of just splitting, splitting them. Um, but there we go. Let's go ahead and give this a try. The Jundis League. So this one's a little janky, kind of put together today. Let's uh, just play it over in the traditional constructed queue to try it out here. I have one ritual set in the sideboard. Or if we play against like a Nissa deck. Let's do it. We got like our best turn one, turn two play. You know, like we have great turn one, turn two. And now all we gotta do is draw our million planeswalkers. So it looks like just Demir Control. Don't think it's Grixis with the basic island. I think this is just Demir. I know only it meditate and prepare. Come on, deck. I 
won't forget our time together. Hope they cast Thought Erasure here. Probably casting Drawn from Dreams, but. Let's draw a Planeswalker. Ooh, an Angrath. Man, Angrath would be sweet. Angrath or Sarkin. Another Spellbreaker. I'm not too scared of Ritual of Sight. I may come to regret that, obviously. But I don't think they play very much Ritual of Sight. I guess they, oh, they have Enter the God Eternals, though. So I should have made a... I guess they killed... Like, they have the 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, because I think their deck, like, their sweepers are just all Cry of the Carnariums. Just a whole bunch of those. Yeah, Enter the God Eternals is... Hmm. That'll do. You call it anarchy. For me, it's just business as usual. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you doing something? Hey Storm, doing good. Having a good Saturday over here. Hope y'all are too. All right, we drew a Planeswalker. Let's see if we draw some more. I'll be back after I've licked my wounds. Not just grasp is rude. Dope. Hmm. Okay. As far as removal spells go, that's not the worst for us because we have this thing. Oh, but I want to play my Ugin. Hmm. I really don't want Ugin to get to get uh, discarded. They have negate. Wow. Okay, I didn't realize they played Negate. Your court is smelly, but effective. Okay, well, I should have led with Legion's End. Alright, that's my bad. Hey, Tony. Mindless minion. All right, they got us this game. I like our chances games two or three, though. Those who cannot have thoughtfulness before action. I think we'll we'll draw. I think we'll draw a little better for games two and three. Yep, play. Yep, play the band. So as you see, we went three and two. We we lost to vampires twice. But we beat the other decks we played. All right, we get that. We get all these. We get this thing. We get to cut this, this, this. Get that. Get this back. All right, Domri. A whole lot of stuff, a whole lot of good stuff for this matchup. I could see cutting a land against the control deck. The longer game, I could see cutting a land. But now we'll just we'll just go with this. As you can see there, though, we have a ton of. Planeswalkers that cost 4, 5, and 6. And we only drew one of them. That one Ugin that got negated. Last game. Throughout the whole game. I think we'll draw more than one this time. Maybe not. <laughs> it's not a mulligan still.
Yeah, I'm going with Karn over four mana Ugin. Or sorry, four mana Chandra. Sorry, Chandra. Going with Karn instead of Chandra. I think I like Karn more with having... Um, with having, like, the expensive spells, you know, like, Chandra ticks up, hits, you know, a five or six mana Planeswalker, maybe you can't cast it right, right then, and that can be kind of rough. So never mind. I was confident that we were going to. How how do they get rid of contempt? When they would get to play contempt for two mana, wow. So I was I was confident that we were going to draw better here, and I was wrong. I was wrong. That has Kanta really filled their graveyard up fast. That's for sure. Wow. Well, this went pretty perfect for our opponent. Them drawing that Ascanta to play on turn two and then Kefnet on turn four. After our duress, you know, didn't have either of those things. And us draw a whole bunch of lands. That went pretty perfect for them. I can't really do anything about this negate now. All right, that can deal in the game. Doesn't deal with the Kefnet, though. All right, 0-1. I really thought we were going to do good there. Guess I need to cut a land, I guess. I don't know. Do really, really, really bad both games. Yeah, game one, we drew a Domri, and game two, we drew a Sarkin, and it got Thought Erasured away. So between the two games, we drew, like, we drew two, two Planeswalkers in all the tons of draw steps for the two games. <laughs> yep, need more islands. Oh, we, we drew that Ugin. I guess we drew two Planeswalkers the first game. We drew an Ugin. Yeah, the Grixis League's probably better. I just play so many Grixis decks. I want to do something a little different. But yeah, the, the Grixis League's probably a better deck. Like, doing the same kind of thing but with Grixis Planeswalkers. I don't know. That's... 
That was just a really crappy game. Really crappy two games. Yeah, we just... Like, if we were only going to draw lands and mana creatures, like, what are we... What are we doing? Alright, looks like we get another test against a control deck, but this time we actually have spells. So that's a good sign. We have two of our four removal spells, which we don't like in this matchup. But you never know. They could be Hero Precinct 1, and then these get a lot better. So they may not be bad. Kefnet again. Well chosen. I'm going to play Paradise Druid. I could play Domri in Paradise Druid. The Domri just dies. But it saves. Oh, I look forward to seeing you. Running the Mustard Eggs is my bread and butter. It saves life on the Karn. Blue, red, bl blue and red don't. Blue and red don't destroy enchantments. You can bounce enchantments with blue. You can use Ugin, which is colorless, or Meteor Golem, which is colorless, to destroy enchantments. There's no destroy target enchantment card in blue or red. There, I had two Kefnets in the Grixis deck we played, Grixis Control we played yesterday. After I've my wounds. You'll see. We revealed a card like zero times off of, off of Kefnet the whole match. Or like, like every game, like the whole five matches. We'd have Kefnets in for multiple turns and just never, never revealed anything. And the opponent was like, last time was just like, enter the God Eternals, here's Sphinx's Insight. Ashiok really needs to chill. Grab Sarkin, tick up on Sarkin, have Karn kill Ashiok. It's one line. Or I can tick up, look for land, hit land drops, play these things. A curious choice. Well, not hitting any land drops is the like, worst case scenario. I was planning on playing Chandra, minus five the Chandra on the Kefnet. That was my plan here. So they just didn't want me to have Legion's End. That's surprising. That card's voice is way too loud.
Because maybe I do Liliana minus now. My retribution will be swift. Good choice. The undead make great minions. Lord. All right, now we're getting land drops. So now I'm gonna have Karn go grab Sarkin. So I only have Sarkin and Legion's End and oh, and Vraska. So I have those three in here. The Karn can grab. Cause yeah, we do have to. I guess we have to be worried a little bit about milling out. I don't know if they're playing Ashiok and End of the God Eternals and all that kind of stuff. This will aid us. Oh, did I have a land I could have grabbed over there the whole time? I fight with a dragon's rage. I think maybe I did. Oh well. Yeah, this time we're actually drawing our planeswalkers. So our life's a lot better. There is no peace in defeat. That's probably true. Let's start at a sizzle and see if you may oh, looks like someone's getting a little sweaty. <laughs> Good help is easy to find in war. What's a Vraska Golgari Queen gonna do? How convenient. An excellent choice. So looking for our other Sarkin to really speed up the clock. No, they milled over my Sarkin. They were a lousy servant anyway. Hmm. Kaya and a bunch of Kaya's rats. little warm in here um gosh I do need to worry about milling out I mean I don't need to worry that much about milling out though right I've lived with animals my entire life. Explains a lot, actually. Your patience is rewarded. Just debating whether or not I want to actually take up Liliana. I think the answer is no. No, I do. I do. Because, you know, like, we have to draw a card for whenever creatures die.
Could have Ugin kill Liliana. Or just bedevil Liliana. I heard you had some dead things that needed to stay dead. So they're trying to like Kaya combo maybe, like trying to exile a whole bunch of stuff with like Ashiok and you know ultimate or like do the minus five on Kaya. Yeah, Vraska, Vraska will destroy Kaya. Oh, oh yeah, Vraska could just sacrifice the Liliana. I'll be back. I'm I'm gone for now, human. but not forever. That's true. All right, more emblems. Oh, looks like someone's getting a little sweaty. Hmm. It's the Jundis League. It's time to step out of the shadow. Or am I flatter yourself? Dematerializing? Huh. Uh, nothing disgusts me more than law and order. Curiosity and wonder. <laughs> we got the Jundis League in play. Not petty wars. Hmm. Fourteen cards, huh? Yeah, that's that's the debate whether to plus or not. So that would be thirteen, the Kaya's Wrath. I'll just I'll just not put plus. Basically, like, I don't mind drawing, like, another, like, four or five cards, but, you know, I, I've got to be worried about Enter the God Eternals, Ashiok, stuff like that. Darn, Spellbreaker. Uh, Spellbreaker would be a good one to have. And Grath, join in the Justice League party right in, right on time. Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> Please run. A chase stokes the forge. A chase stokes the forge. All right, where are we at? Nine cards. All right, so obviously you're doing emblem. Not too hot for you're that. gonna minus four from battle to the grave. You're gonna take up no fire, no steel. We're gonna kill this thing. So Everyone is expendable. You're going to not sacrifice anything. You can, I don't know, do whatever you want. The only authority that I recognize is chaos. And that's it. If I, if I minus two Karn, I don't know, it gives them a target for uh, Enter the God Eternals if they would draw that. Oh 
Behold, my epilogue of Yep, and then... So they would be able to, like, gain life and mill me. Where they were going to be taking lethal the, ne the next turn. Anyway, with Chandra. All right, that's that's our deck. There's the Jundus League. I liked. I don't know. I was just. I, I liked emptying their hand, but I guess I, it was like the same number of turns, right? If I steal, if I steal Kefnet, it's an extra two damage, but it doesn't change the clock because they they weren't dead the next turn to Chandra Emblems, but they were going to be dead the very next turn to Chandra Emblems. So it doesn't. That two damage doesn't change the clock at all. It's the same number of turns before they're dead. They still have one draw step either way. But we get a card out of their hand. Um, all right, so we want to eat these duresses. Elder Spells. Bedevil. Coil, cast down, legions end out. I took out Paradise Druid and Domri's last time. That looks good. Yeah, we have other things to kill the 4-4, but yeah, like the, the Enter the God Eternals, like, they may also, like, have, like, you know, two Enter the God Eternals, it turns into an 8-8, then our Lava Coil doesn't kill it anymore. That's kind of the only thing for Lava Coil, but we have, like, like this thing kills, like, this kills that Amass token, this kills the Amass token, the Bedevils that we have, we have things for it. <laughs> Thanks, McToasty. Happy Saturday. My poor Ugin. What's about to happen? Poor Ugin. Pugin. It's definitely. I was definitely considering, like, maybe, like, Vraska wasn't a good thing to play. Because, like, 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 if they just kill Vraska, then I don't have. I hope you said you yeah, I didn't get any value from the Vraska here. Like, no certainly considering that I was supposed to wait before. until I could either plus or minus the Vraska. Before playing it, I'll play this land they know about. Feel the heat of my flame. Behold! The Kai would be able to minus one and exile the token, which is why I minus three to kill it instead of just drawing another card. Plus, maybe they have discard. That'd be nice. Go ahead and play a discard spell. Darn. All right. Sarkin and Vraska. Getting it done. The Jundis League. The Jundiest Jundist League. <laughs> yeah. My hand's four lands. My opponent's like, can't handle that. Of course, I was going to sacrifice a land there to draw a card. Another W in the books for Todd the Time Man. This looks a lot like our, our first match. I kept a five lander like this, thinking, okay, well, our deck's filled with the expensive planeswalkers. This kind of hand will hit our land drops, which is 
you know, which is val definitely valuable. Oh, whoops. Wrong land. Which is definitely valuable. And then we'll draw our expensive cards, and we'll play those, and we'll be good. However, our first match, all we did was draw more lands. So we'll see if that's the case again. Third Thought Erasure deck in a row, which I, th I think is good for us. Like, I think we want to be playing Thought Erasure decks. This one's Crixus. But however, we don't really want to draw... Like, you know, I have four cards against Crixus I don't want to draw. I got Lava Coils, one Lava Coil, one Cast Down, and two Legion Sends. This Lava Coil is not as bad, though, because Lava Coil does kill Nicol Bolas the Ravager. So that's not so bad. Only two black sources is a good sign. Open mind. The best sign would be if they had three black sources and they still couldn't play the Dragon God, though. <laughs> My army will be putrid, but effective. All right, I'm hoping they don't have a third black source. So they do have Dragon God, so that's not good. So hoping they don't have a third black source. Oh, uh, yeah, Narsa. We don't even get to draw that extra card. Playing Basic Island and Nicol Bolas. I'm not a big fan of that. Darn. I have just the trick for this. I can create what a drag. or destroy. Another time, Planeswalker. Well, again, I like our I'll like our chances after sideboarding. Replace all these cards with like duresses. We'll see how we do. The whole of the multiverse will bend to my will. No! I outsmarted you eons ago. It's control day. We are but moats in a vast waste of water. To my thumb. No more nickel bolluses, please. Hopefully, they just have a bunch of planeswalk or sorry, a bunch of creature removal. No, not planeswalker removal. I didn't mean that. I concede. Is it better to keep land war off in hand? <laughs> So that Nicol Bolas the Ravager discards Llanowar Elf, then actually play it. Of course, it doesn't seem like they have a Nicol Bolas the Ravager because they didn't play one. But I don't... Yeah, they could have just drawn one there. I don't think that Llanowar Elf actually does anything on the battlefield. I will remake the multiverse in my image. I have other schemes to attend to. My schemes are never ending. Scheme this, scheme that. Yeah, 
Yeah, yesterday there was a lot of gifted subs, Ragabosh. So yeah, I guess you got one of the gifted subs from yesterday. You have no weakness that I cannot exploit. Nice Alright, so they're playing lots of planeswalkers also. So all these duresses, the elder spells, we're just doing the exact same sideboarding every round. Take out Coil, take out Legions, and take out Cast Down. Take out a Paradise Druid, take out the Domrenes. Boom. Under my thumb. Yeah, I think yeah, I'd be I'd be very happy if they fix Nicol Bolas's voice lines also. Certainly in kind of annoying voice lines. Uh for how you know you would think that like the Nicol Bolas screaming no is whenever Nicol Bolas dies, not like you tick up on your Nicol Bolas and your like the opponent just like exiles a land or whatever and then just screams no really loud doesn't doesn't fit they need to fix that yeah and ashiok's voice line that's way too loud Okay, got stuff to play. <laughs> no, the opponent's Lana War Elves. So kind of playing the Vraska here to just eat the Bedevil. So like my land war elves doesn't get Bedeviled. They really don't need to Bedevil Vraska, but... A lot of people like killing planeswalkers right away. Darn. Hmm. Alright, so I'm going to go Sarkin minus. I should have just sacked the Lanawar Elf. That's what I should have done. No, I'll just decline. I do want to have the six mana next turn. I couldn't I couldn't sack the land war off there and still add mana with the land war off which of course I needed to add mana with land war off oh, so I was too late on that
here be monsters. Your Let's do a lot of damage to them. So the Ravager can kill one of my Planeswalkers, but only one, and they're at seven. Or then if it does kill something, they're not blocking for the 4-4. Four four. Yeah, you can steal the Ravager and then turn him into a Planeswalker if you have the mana, but if you do that, then Ravager goes back to your opponent's side. If you do that. Because it does say exile Nicobolus the Ravager and then return him back under his owner's control, so... It's not recommended to do that. All right, so Liliana doesn't save our opponent here. All right. Fortunately, Nicobolus the Ravager is not green nor white for Noxious Grasp. Don't have much removal for Nicobolus the Ravager. Kind of just going with these bedevils. Okay, game number So if I do not duress, let's say my opponent thought Erasure is me, takes my duress. Am I dead? Not really. Just like you. Huh. So they could have legions ended my land or elf and chose not to. Just a surprise call there. Alright, so we both have six mana planeswalkers. We both have four lands. We'll kind of see who gets there first. Its loss will serve us. But both of these kill Liliana. Liliana doesn't kill either of these. So that's the good news. 
Also good news, we're gonna have our six lands. Going to die anyway. This isn't your average zombie horde. I guess Chandra doesn't actually kill Rise Liliana. But Ugin does. I am ancient and wise. Wanna kill that first, they don't draw a card. I am exhausted. Oh, I was getting bored anyway. Ooh. This is a pretty nice combo, Ugin and Braska. You get to like make a token, then you sack your token and and draw two cards. You draw like that card and and everything. It's a cool little combo. All right, so assuming they have like, let's say that they have Elder Spell suddenly. Like, which one would I rather? Why is Ritual of Sits in our opponent's deck? Because, I mean, I don't know, we play a bunch of mana creatures. And they just see, like, you know, we're a green deck, a bunch of mana creatures. They think it, it could be worth it. I was thinking, like, maybe we draw the land and just play the Paradise Druid instead of having that 2-2. Yeah, we had the 4-4, the four, four, like we beat our opponent with like the 4-4 four, four dragon tokens the last game. So Ritual of Soot kills dragon tokens. Alright, the Jundus League. Beating two out of three control decks. Since 2019. I hope we play against Thought Erasure. I hope my opponent plays turn two Thought Erasure. I haven't seen one of those in a while. I don't know how to sideboard against anything else, so I hope they just do that. So I hope they just play Thought Erasure again so we know how to sideboard. Ooh, yeah, turn three Angrath. That's so much cooler than turn three Nyssa. No. That's... Well, they could still go, they could still go Thought Erasure. Darn. Yeah, go and play your Grow Spiral. Oh, Essence Scatter. Oh, it's blue-green flash. Well, that's a lot worse for us. <laughs> do you know what, like, really, you know, do you know what expensive planeswalkers are not good against? Negate. <laughs> oh, man, this, oh, we got something to resolve. Evil must not be tolerated. Sweet. Are you certain of your decision? Tiny apartment complex. Okay, if you're if your like plan is Merfolk Trickster, if like you don't have anything but Merfolk Trickster, they sh you really need to up like if you're playing a, a Merfolk Trickster deck, if that's your plan, just during the upkeep, just upkeep, tap the land war elf. You know, basically blow up a land for a turn. That's like your whole plan. If you got if you got nothing else that you're doing in life, besides Merfolk Trickster. What was lost is now returned. All right, we got one wolf, a cutthroat. Ooh, 
Ooh, goes Wolf. All right, good sign for us because we're not playing another creature. It's like our only creature in our deck. You may regret that choice. I only have one red mana. If you think I'm crazy, wait till you see my mates. I guess I should play around spell peers. Nothing disgusts me more than See, I, yeah, I could fight. Good. Fighting is obviously the most the safest thing. But they they just have the one card they just drew for turn. Splash. Awesome. Could have been another wolf. Should have been bad news for sure. Whoa! They had another wolf? And they didn't save their wolf? What? What? Hmm. Yeah, I know. I'm pretty surprised too, Kitty. Decisive action is needed. Only punish you if they catch you. <laughs> You're just fuel for the fires of freedom, Kerr. No fire, no steel. It's unfortunate they ambush or filled Mystic back to back. Um, I. So definitely considering just leading off with the amp, the. I guess I have Legion's End. I was definitely considering leading off with the Angrath instead of leading oh, off with the Bedevil. Like mouth and no hands. No fire, no steel. Spectral Sailor is annoying. I require servants. Your court will be smelly, but effective. Some solutions must be built. And Grath will kill the Spectral Sailor next turn. Well, we're going to draw a lot of cards here. Like where we're at, like our chances. 
Your crew for my freedom. <laughs> of their rights. All right. Chandra, Acolyte of Flame. So, yeah, so while Chandra does have a few spells to recast here, Chandra, Acolyte of Flame doesn't get to do just a ton for us. Karn is really important of hitting land drops, and, and it's our main card advantage engine. Chandra doesn't just... Chandra, Acolyte of Flame. We have six cards that we can recast, but I really like Karn more. As we saw that game, it, it just you know got through our library, found us, you know found us multiple cards to to uh, get us that card advantage. Like Karn was much much like if we, if if we had Chandra that game we lose, but we had Karn and we drew a lot more cards and we won, kind of thing. Uh, yeah. So for this deck, I think Karn is going to be a lot better for us. All right, let's get these Noxious Grasps in here. Another coil even though it's kind of slow it does kill a wolf i need things that kill wolves okay so we want hmm i could like take out like my spell breakers and just try to blank essence scatter kind of thing Just try to ramp straight into the planeswalkers, but I mean, I I do need like all these planeswalkers to win, but they're not good against counter spells. Yeah, Angrath, Angrath's a pretty nice guy, lore-wise. He's he like just like showed up on Ixalan and doesn't know what he's doing on Ixalan and just wants to go home, basically. You know, so he he causes a little bit of havoc, but he's just trying to get home and he just like basically washed up ashore on Ixalan with. It's kind of he's kind of weird story-wise. They just kind of he doesn't really have that much of a purpose, or it's like. You know, it is kind of odd of just like, why is Angrath here and stuff? Kind of just threw him in the story so they could put him in the set, it feels like. Melody. But then, yeah. Yeah, it's, he, but then, yeah, I went... Went to Ravnica and fought Bolas instead of going home. Um, there's... So War of the Spark had an actual book, but some of the sets before that, like Ixalan and everything, like the sets before that had just like little short stories. Kind of since like, I think since like Shadows over Innistrad did to Ixalan, I don't know. So there's just like little short stories on the Wizards website. Um, I would just Google search MTG storyline, basically, and, and you should find it on the Wizards website. That should get you there. I, I definitely want to kill the Spectral Sailor.
but I don't want it. I do not want my bedevil countered. So playing bedevil and it getting countered is like the worst case scenario. So I think what I want to do is just I'm gonna play the paradise druid. I think I wait a turn, and then next turn I go duress plus bedevil. They do get to draw the card, but it does kill the spectral sailor. Oh, right. I didn't kill that thing. Man. How can I have this Angrath resolve? Do I just slam it? Three cards over there? That's so many cards. I know, Kitty. That's so many cards. I already used to duress. It doesn't really get better for me, I guess. Boo. Wow. That was really not good for me. No, I can't I can't block cutthroat anymore. I did not mean to attack. Oh well. Guess we're attacking. Hope they don't have like another cutthroat that they just play here. They don't get to block now. So it's kind of the problem. Like Spectral Sailor is the better card. How it gets to keep drawing cards like that. But that 4-3 is just going to kill me a lot faster. Yeah, I mean, we have to play Ugin because the, the Spectral Sailor just drawing all the cards, so like it just gets a lot worse for us. We just have to play it. We're likely dead here. Ooh. It worked. Alright, so they should have wolves. I would assume then if they're just letting this happen. I assume they have wolves. No, wow. And so I was going to chump lock the wolf with a Paradise Druid. Okay. So we got Nugent in play. That's sweet. They got five cards, though. Ether itself serves me. Essence Scatter. <laughs> uh, that's a crappy card. I want them to draw more essence scatters. No more spectral sailors. Okay, that one's fine. I can block that.
Again, people don't know my, my deck too well, I guess. Like, you know, I played a lot of, I mean, not a lot, but I played creatures that, that first time. You know, like we had, you know, we had Gruul Spellbreaker and Mana Creatures, and, and so, yeah, they just kept in, they just kept in Scatter. People expect more creatures against the Jund deck than what we have. So I guess we still get that ability. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if that if that thing would still have that ability or not. Uh, because how the trickster makes it lose all abilities. I was. I honestly wasn't sure. I guess it's I guess the token doesn't have that ability. I guess it's, the token just doesn't have that ability. It's part of Ugin. Yeah, it's not the creature. It's not it doesn't say that creature token gains when this leaves. So yeah. I wasn't exactly sure how that would work. But yeah, so reading Ugin it I mean that's that's how you could figure it out. Also our opponent could have read Ugin and figured it out, but The uh, it, if Ugin read that creature gains when this creature leaves the battlefield, you know it doesn't. So that creature's not gaining an ability. It just says that it does that. Hey, Doctor, what's up? All right. Well, we beat the flash deck. If you trickster on deputy and then kill deputy, do they get their do they get their creature back? Um I'm not sure. Let's read deputy attention. Yeah, I think they would, because I don't. It's not an ability the deputy of detention has. So yeah, I think they you still get the the thing back. All right, well, ne Nexus of Fate. I don't really, I don't really see us beating Nexus of Fate. I don't have Cinder Vines or anything like that. I just I knew I was going to be really bad against Nexus of Fate. It's just kind of how life is, I suppose. So like sideboard, we got a bunch of duresses. I think I need to play Domri next turn because my best chance is top decking Chandra, six mana Chandra. And so I think I need to have the Domri in play to so that I have six mana the next turn. Of course, playing Karn helps us dig deeper to get to Chandra. But I want to be able to play it if we top deck it. Let's just fight. The only authority that I recognize is Chaos. But that's that's our card. So we need Chandra. Not Torch of Defiance. What is it? Awakened Inferno? Okay. We have one of them in the deck. 
let's draw our one Chandra Awakened Inferno right here, please. Oh, I thought that was it. I thought that was it. But that's a good one. That was maybe our second best card to draw. Discard some cards. <laughs> Please run. A chase stokes the forge. No fire, no steel. Ooh. May him discard a Tamio. Because if they have Tamio in play, then they don't have to discard cards anymore. I don't know how that or what that does. We will not fail. Right row. Behold, nature's true power. Well, we'll see if we get another turn or if we're dead. I'm starting to get miffed now. We'll see how many nexuses they have over there. Let us have a storied battle worth retelling. Seek and find. Good, good. Good sign, good sign. Plus up on the forest. Take up on the forest. Forest, forest. Yeah. Be wary of the ground you walk on. We can exile both their forests with Legion's End. No, no! Put me back in! Uh, that's probably game. Yeah, wilderness reclamation is a real jerk. My elemental friend. This stupid card got three mana to fairy printed. I follow the tracks of the wise. Why don't, why don't you just attack first? I guess it doesn't matter if if they find an excess I lose anyway. It's a you know it's lethal next turn. They didn't even activate. Oh yeah, they they minus Tamiya for drawn from dreams. Yeah, drawn from dreams is an amazing card. I think that's a card that could shine after rotation. When standard gets a little slower, a little worse, people may start picking up that card and realizing, wow, this card's really good.
Um, let's see. So Golgari Queen's basically just killing as Kanta, but that's still not bad. Karn just draws us cards. Do I really need to draw cards in the matchup? No, if, I, if I'm just sitting back drawing cards, I'm losing. Okay. Hands not perfect, but it's not like we have really. It's not like we really have perfect hands. I think this might be our last game with the Jun with the Jundis League. We're gonna need an upset here. It'll be quite the upset if we pull this out. Chandra, Chandra, Chandra. You have six power, you know, we have a three turn clock. That's reasonable. You want plain white celebration here to get more counters on a planeswalkers? But you could also just instead of plain white celebration, you could just play another planeswalker. So you just because planeswalkers are good. I'm assuming my opponent has like bounce spell over there. They're like seeing if they want to bounce anything. Two root snares. Two chemistry's insights. Chemistry's insights are really good too. I want to draw Angrath or Angrath or Chandra. Angrath, Chandra, Angrath, Chandra. Hmm. I 
it does add one more turn to the clock, which is nice. So like, you know, like they have to root snare now. Can't not root snare. Together we will prevail. We'll see if this kills them. If they don't have another land drop, they die. Cause they can't you know that they, they're expect like are they expecting to tap this for two mana? Well I guess they don't yeah, they die, because we have this thing. So they don't have a land drop, they're dead. They don't. Wow, that was risky. We got there. I know, kitty, we got there. All my hexproof creatures, they can't bounce. You know they had an unsummon. That was pretty greedy. But we got there. Guess maybe a Karn over a Sarkin? Because, yeah, if they're just playing, like, a bunch of Root Snare, Sarkin's not helping us out too much. I mean, but it does. It can. But maybe if we have, like, a fast hand, we Karn for some cards. I don't know. Yeah, good clean win. Okay, maybe the Jundus League isn't done yet. Maybe the Jundus League isn't done yet. Untap land. Alright. Well, we'll start with this thing then. I think I want to go Paradise Druid turn two. Yeah, it's Paradise Druid turn two. Now we don't have to worry about Noxious or uh, Veil of Summer. That's, that's the word I was looking for. We don't have to worry about Veil of Summer. Alright, so we're going to take Tamiyo and Nyssa. What if I take... No, I mean, I'm definitely taking Tamiyo. Tamiyo's just gone. See you, Tamiyo. I guess I don't need to take Nyssa. Could take a root snare, I suppose. Why not the other Ascanta? I'm I'm not killing this Ascanta. They like get to the point in the game like where they flip as Kanta and everything. I'm gonna be pretty done for anyway.
so if they play Nissa next turn, like if they if they grab land, play Nissa, I can, you know, Noxious Grass the Nissa, Bedevil the land, also attack him for 10. Your end has arrived. This isn't looking so bad for us. They don't have the card advantage. Ooh, didn't even want Tamiyo. Alright, so I think that's our plan. We are all connected. The land shall conquer you. They are coming. All right, as Kanta can flip, they would need another land to be able to activate as Kanta and cast Root Snare. They have definitely have at least two turns. Okay, so they kept a land, but as Kanta doesn't flip for keeping that land. Look to the skies. I look forward to seeing you running away. Running away. <laughs> I've had it, boys. Okay. Let's see what they got. The enchantment flips. It's only six mana. They kept it on top. Wow. What could it be? They want to keep it on top. Just another root snare? Root snare is their best thing. Blink of an eye? Why would they think blink of an eye would be good? Like just activating as Kanta is a lot better than casting Blink of an Eye. We did it. We beat Nexus. Victory. The J the Jundis League. Ooh, we're four and one. That means we're at our final boss. Let's get the final boss playlist out here. No cinder vines, no problem. <laughs> Jundis was served on Nexus. I haven't played mono black control in a little while. Let's do that again sometime soon. Maybe like Monday. All right, hopefully we play against Thought Erasure. I haven't seen a Thought Erasure in a while. Mm, it's not a great hand against Thought Erasure, though. Uh-oh. Scourge Spitter. I don't want to spin any scourges. Yeah, the mono black control. Um, 
Can I can I choose my blocker? Thank you. No, can I? Thank you. Mono black control uh, could definitely be a best of one. It, need, it would need to be, you know, changed for best of one, but it can be a best of one list. Uh, with you just want all your sideboard to be all artifacts for Karn, great creator. Uh, is the big thing, and then you want it to be a little better against aggro in the main deck as well. We just had a sub here. Who do we had? Necrolepsy. Six month streak. Thank you so much there, Necrolepsy. Okay, so they can only play one of these things next turn. Probably playing Cavalcade. Kind of saving these removal spells for like Chandra Spitfires. A little bit of a delay. We'll reset Arena after this league. Splash. All right, we've kept our life total high, which is good. I've learned a bunch of new burn spells to try on you. I am not. All right, this is where we're gonna draw right a planeswalker. Say hi to my fiery friends. Come on, Jundis League, get us there. Get this planeswalker. Anyone will do, except for Domri. All right, well, that was a bad use of Bedevil on my part. That was a bad use of Bedevil. I I could have just waited till end step to Bedevil. And then, you know, like, we would have seen this other Chandra here. And so then I would have waited again. Won't lie. I'm a pretty great pyromancer. That was a bad use of Bedevil there. Him, my thoughts on Cavalcade decks? Um... Pretty mediocre. Never seen water burn, no fire, no steel. This one's gonna get us here. But I mean I also had two land two land worlds, a lava coil, and a bedevil. That's not beating an aggro deck. friends and it's it's not that their decks necessarily so bad you know like like I said it's not it's not bad it's just mediocre all right we're down to one need to draw removal for Chandra That'll do, I suppose. Your crew for my freedom? <laughs> A fair price. Eh, I'm late to meditation anyway. We're just barely hanging on. Darn. All right, going to game two. So, enchantments, pretty rough. Kind of relying on Golgari Queen. I like Rakdos Midrange. There's cool things to be doing with Rakdos Midrange. Chandra is certainly the, the card I'm the most scared of in their deck. I kind of want to play these Elder Spells. 
As we saw there with that game, Chandra's really tough. Hmm. Yeah, we're in the constructed league, and so you play until you win five or lose two. So we are trying to get that fifth win. So that's why we got our final boss playlist going on and everything. Here. Here. So I have like three Bedevils and two Ugins. Oh, and Golgari Queen that kill Chandra. That is really not very much. I guess and and our Chandra. I'm not sure if I'd need to keep all eight mana creatures. I guess I'll probably do. Yeah, I think Duress is kind of good too, but I want the removal. I, we need our Planeswalkers to win. I think the thing that to take out would be like, you know, take out like Land War Elf or Paradise Druid for Duress. I think that's like where you could fit Duress in. I'm not, I'm not sure. But we got to be able to kill Chandra Spitfire and, and stuff like that. I'm not very, like, I, d I don't think the Explore creatures are very well positioned right now. I'm not very impressed with them right now. Like, Wild Growth Walker has never lined up well against uh, Little Teferi. You know, getting bounced and everything. Um, and resetting. And now, like, Legion's End's a really highly played removal spell. Which is, which is very bad for Wild Growth Walker. Also... I don't love where the explore creatures are positioned. This does a really good job, like Sarkin's passive ability does a really good job in this matchup of killing like these little one ones if they try to attack. <clears throat> so Sarkin does have that going for it. But of course if you if you make a dragon, Sarkin also that's one side of the coin. The other side, you make a dragon. Sarkin only has two loyalty and can die to a burn spell very easily. Well, this was definitely what really didn't want to see with keeping this hand was a turn three Spitfire. Turn four wouldn't have been so bad because turn four we would have the Sarkin make a dragon to block but we did not draw removal and they had turn three spitfire so this could mean that we're dead I think we're going to be dead. It's game, right? I guess. Yep, there we go. GG's. Kind of think I should have mulliganed my hand. We died. I think I should have mulliganed my hand. Because my hand was just, you know, Spellbreaker Sarkin. Spellbreaker Sarkin doesn't 
really beat the car like that doesn't beat them and honestly playing that I wonder if I wonder if like after playing that I kind of think that I should have boarded out spellbreaker for duress I think that's where I could have fit in duresses because I did want to play those duresses but we're running out of time and I could you know I didn't really see like where to put them in but after you know playing that a little bit more I think that's that's the thing to do is take out spellbreaker it's like the block like the blocking doesn't really matter in that matchup right like it doesn't block Spitfire which is the most important thing to block. And the clock doesn't really matter. So, yeah, we unless they unless they just drew the enchantment the turn they played it, if they had the enchantment in hand, we could have could have potentially got that because I think that's the important part about duress, try to get the enchantment, try to get the Chandra. So, yeah, so I think if I would play that again, I would take out Spellbreaker for duress. Um, but you know, good good to know, good to learn. Learning's always good. The Esper Colorless deck is a colorless deck built around um, Mystic Forge. It is Esper because I wanted to play the blue-black Tazeret, because that card's awesome, and J Kaya's Wrath, because Kaya's Wrath's just the best Wrath in the format. So uh, besides that, I also played Thought Erasure, because that card's messed up. But those are the only three colored cards. I played and everything else was colorless with uh, Mystic Forge. Yeah, four two for a first run with the deck, not bad. Especially like both of those losses, I feel like we could have done something else. But I think I think our loss against the blue black deck was was just pretty unlucky. So I think I think this deck is it's got to be favored against the blue black decks, as we saw we we beat two other blue black decks right afterwards, a lot easier. But we just. We drew really horrifically in the the loss against the blue black deck, and then I think the combination of sideboarding differently, like we talked about, and also mulliganing, could have put me in a lot better position there against the cavalcade deck. I do think we got very fortunate, very fortunate against the nexus deck, though. So like, if we count like that blue black, like probably should have been a win. The nexus probably should have been a loss. I guess those even out at the end of the day. And Cavalcade's probably a loss with this deck. But yeah, pretty pretty cool little deck. The Jundis League. Got to play some cards that we don't get to play too often. You know, and if you like a whole bunch of Planeswalkers, if you want to beat Control Decks and have, have fun with, you know, activating Planeswalkers, you do a lot worse than the Jundis League here. <clears throat> Okay, so that's that's the Jonas League. So if you're watching it later on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. I'd appreciate that. But thanks for watching, and I will see you for the next video.